Hey everybody, Royce from Hill Country CNC and Woodworking and I kind of felt like making it my own marking knife, something I'd been needing in the shop for a while. So I went on Taylor Tools and they had this Mykoff unhandled thin blade dual bevel marking knife kit with finger indents and I was like, you know, that looks pretty cool. So here we go. I started by squaring up a piece of sapile I had laying around the shop. Then I used my calipers just to figure out the layout that I wanted. And then I cut it to size on my miter saw. I basically flushed my bandsaw, uh, which I probably should have left you know, uh, a sixteenth on both sides, but hindsight's twenty twenty. Quick check, and I was uh, pretty happy with it. So I went ahead and made the other side much easier. Just want to say this whole project was actually really easy. My next step was taking some CA glue uh, and just gluing it on. The star bond that I used adhered perfectly to the metal and to the wood. It worked out really well. So I drilled out one side with literally the smallest bit I could find uh, and I wallered it out a little bit because like I said the, the, the bit was a small problem. I didn't have the perfect size. CA glue on the other side and flip it over for drilling out the other side. I decided to drill a little hole uh, for the pins to have a relief in my spoil board. And then I just added the brass pins. Unfortunately, I realized at this point that after all these years, I didn't have a metal hammer. You know, one for doing detail work like this. So that'll be a purchase pretty soon. Then I added it to my vise and cut off the ends. You want to leave a little space there. Oh, wait, I forgot. Tape. Add the tape so you don't mess up your wood. Uh, then go ahead and cut it off. Leave a little bit of space because what you're going to want to do is flatten those pins a little bit so they expand and hold everything in place. And the one part of my video that I did fail at was I did not record myself expanding those pins but basically you just put the cut pin against a metal object and whack the other side with a metal hammer and that causes it to expand just a little bit you don't want to do too much and if you look very carefully I did the back pin just a little too much and it mushroomed a bit so I did a little sanding and then I brought it over to my handheld Makita router with a round over bit and just round it over the sides. I thought it would add a nice little look to it. For those attention to detail people, I hand rounded the tip uh, of the front there with sanding paper. And really last, I oiled it up with some walrus oil I really like this stuff. It's easy to apply and goes a long way. So 
so there it is uh, just a quick evening project uh, I really enjoyed it if you like it please subscribe and and follow me um, all links and everything will be down below I also will write this up in a blog so you can read it if you're more interested in, in uh, investigating that way thanks <laughs>